Asbestos, with its wide range of valued properties, has played a role in human culture for at least four and a half thousand years. In this segment, we're going to look at some of the history of mining asbestos. But first, the physical nature of the remarkable substance that is asbestos. Asbestos is a mineral compound of silicon, oxygen, hydrogen and a variety of metals. Most minerals comprise tightly bound crystals. Asbestos is different, characterised by densely packed bundles of very strong fibres. The asbestos breaks down as the ore is worked until the loose clumps of fibres are ready for commercial use. The asbestos types found in commercial and building products are white, brown and blue. White asbestos, or chrysotile, is the most commonly used, with up to 95% of the world market. For most of the history of asbestos, it was used in areas where it was found. Larger scale mining and use came with industrialization. At the beginning of the 20th century, asbestos mining was primitive. As new products and processes boosted demand, mining operations grew. The Jeffrey Mine in Canada covered 15 and a half square kilometres and was 350 metres deep. Asbestos mines sprang up across North America, Southern Africa, Russia, Kazakhstan, China and Brazil. There were a number of asbestos mines in Australia by the late 1800s, including at Jones Creek near Gundagai, at Robertstown north of the Barossa Valley and near Beaconsfield in Tasmania. Financial difficulties plagued these mines and others scattered around the country. World War I caused a significant restriction on asbestos imports to Australia. James Hardy and Wanderlich started manufacturing asbestos cement sheeting here and both opened mines at Woods Reef in New South Wales. The mines struggled throughout their life but produced around half a million tonnes of white asbestos from 100 million tonnes of ore before they closed permanently in 1983. Despite the difficulty with the Woods Reef mines, demand for AC products soared in the 1930s and after World War II. The Western Australian Mines Department had known about asbestos in the Pilbara region since 1917. Mining started at Yampire Gorge in 1939 and moved to Wittenoom Gorge in 1943. From 1950 to the 1960s, Wittenoom was Australia's only asbestos supplier. But it eventually became uneconomic and closed in 1966. The mining town was eventually wiped off the map. Meanwhile, at Baryugal in New South Wales, James Hardy and Wunderlich formed a joint venture open cut mine. White asbestos ore was smashed by sledgehammer and sorted by hand. That mine closed in 1979. By 1954, Australia used more asbestos cement products per head of population than any other country. In homes, workplaces and public buildings across the country, it was used for roofs, floors and walls, ceilings and insulation. Manufacture of products using asbestos was phased out in Australia between 1981 and 1987. The use of all forms of asbestos, except in a small number of time-limited exemptions, was prohibited in Australia from the 31st of December 2003. However, Australia is in the minority of nations which have banned asbestos. It's still mined in Russia, Kazakhstan, China, Canada and Brazil, and is in widespread use in many parts of Africa, Asia and South America. <laughs>